uh, humidity ratio is widely used? Well, it's given the symbol omega. It's close to the relative humidity, but it's not. It's the same idea, though. It's, it's a measure of how much moisture is in our air. A nice way to think about it is just say omega is the symbol, and here are the units. It's kilograms of water vapor per kilogram of dry air. Those are the units for, for this variable. U units, okay? <clears throat> so I need to somehow calculate this ratio. Now, it's not trivial to calculate. I mean, it will show it, will drive it. It looks re re really easy after you do it once or twice. But um, what I want to do is just stare at the units for a while. It's kilograms of vapor in the ideal gas mixture made up of dry air and water vapor per kilogram of dry air in the mixture. It's not per kilogram of dry air and vapor in the mixture. It's not that. Why do they like this variable? Well, in a lot of applications, you may have a duct, you may have air coming in and air going out, and it's moist air here and it's moist air here. And if you have a cooling coil and you cool off that you try to drop the temperature because it's hot and humid out. You need to provide cool air inside the building. Guess what you better have right underneath that cooling coil? Guess what you must have? What did I just show? A drain, a drip pan to catch the what? The condensation, and it's going to sweat off that coil. Anybody seen the air conditioner in a window unit, and you go on the outside, and it's dripping water? And the first one you see that, and your little kid, you're saying, Where's the leak? That water's coming out of the air. And in this building, when you put air across cooling coils, you got to worry about possibly condensing uh, and getting some of that, wringing some of that moisture out of the air, and you have to deal with it. So what stays constant? Is it the mass flow rate of the dry air and vapor that stays constant from the inlet to the outlet across the cooling coil? Is it the mass flow rate of the vapor that stays constant from, no, some of that vapor is going to condense. So what stays constant is the mass flow rate of the dry air. That's why we like this ratio. Because the mass flow rate of the dry air is always constant. How do I calculate the humidity ratio? Go back to this equation. PV is equal to MRT. Ideal gas equation. Let's do this. Let's write it twice. The partial pressure for the vapor, let's write it for the water. And then let's write it for the dry air. Okay. So we're thinking about the partial pressure of the water vapor in a given volume, Okay. the mass of the vapor, and we have R, which is R bar divided by the molar mass of the vapor, and then we have the mixture temperature. Do you like that equation as I've written it? Okay, let's do it also for the dry air. So we have the partial pressure of the dry air, some volume, the mass of the dry air, R bar divided by the molar mass of the dry air, temperature. So now if you say omega is going to be the ratio of the mass of the vapor divided by the mass of the dry air, can I replace the numerator by P of the vapor, volume, molar mass of the vapor divided by R bar T. Can I do that just for the numerator? And then for the denominator, can I do partial pressure of the dry air, volume, molar mass of dry air, divided by R bar T. Do you see what we did? Now, can we cancel some terms? I hope we can. R bars go, temperatures go, the volume goes, and we're left with that the humidity ratio is the molar mass of the vapor divided by the molar mass of dry air times the partial pressure of the vapor divided by the partial pressure of dry air. Say, what's the molar mass of water vapor? 18.02. What's the molar mass of dry air? 28.97. This number is almost never reported as 18.02 divided by 28.97. It's reported as 0. 0.622. Now on my calculator, that's good to five digits. I've never seen this reported to five digits in any book. It's always reported to 
0 0.622. You would think it's some fundamental constant like pi, but it's just the ratio of molar masses. That's all it is. And now you have PV over PDA. So that's how you calculate this omega, this humidity ratio.